you have never tasted spaghetti aglio e olio like this. Today on Piatto, we'll show you how to make this beloved Italian recipe, elevating the freshness and aroma of pressed, not sauteed, garlic. And for those who dare, we'll tell you the special ingredient that Italians on the island of Sardinia add to transform this dish into an unforgettable feast for the senses. E via! We start with the essentials. Fresh garlic, the soul of this dish. And of course, extra virgin olive oil. Parsley, and of course, the spaghetti. And for the daring, an ingredient that will make this dish sing, botarga di mugine. Don't worry, we'll explain exactly what that is in a minute. To preserve the taste and nutrition of these super fresh ingredients, we will use our made in Italy mortar and pestle to make this uncooked aglio olio sauce. It's a bit like making a pesto genovese without the basil and other ingredients. This dish is super quick, done in the time it takes to cook the pasta. So we start by putting that pasta on to boil. Here we are using quality spaghetti, cut with a bronze dye, or trafilato al bronzo, as they say in Italian. And yes, we are salting this water. Pasta is on, so let's prepare the sauce. Garlic, one clove a person. After peeling the garlic, it's important to remove the germ of the garlic for this dish. The germ is often considered a bit bitter, especially in older cloves. That's why we remove it for this recipe. And also, because the germ tends to be more fibrous, and so is harder to crush into a garlic paste. The center part, often a bit green, is the germ. See, the germ can be popped out like this after cutting the clove in half. With this simple gesture, we ensure that our garlic is perfectly prepared to offer a delicate flavor and a soft texture. We want to coarsely chop the garlic cloves before putting them in the mortar. The garlic ready, we can quickly prep the other ingredients. And while we chop a handful of this parsley, let's delve into the history of spaghetti aglio e olio. Garlic, although known in antiquity, began to be widely used in Italian cuisine between the 14th and 17th centuries, a period in which many ingredients began to define modern Italian cuisine. Pasta, on the other hand, has ancient origins, with references to it already in ancient Rome. However, it is during the Middle Ages, partly thanks to trade and cultural exchanges with Arab countries, that pasta begins to take the form that we know today, especially in Sicily. Now let's move on to the botarga. Ah, botarga, an ancient source of flavor and nutrition, first documented in the Nile Delta around the 10th century BC. It is renowned worldwide for its delicate umami flavor. Slightly brackish, it is often added to pasta and seafood dishes and is sometimes even used in thin slices and appetizers. Before grating it, we need to remove the outer skin of the botarga, just as we are doing here. But what exactly is it? Botarga is a product made with fish ovaries, whose eggs are dried, seasoned, and compressed into a gratable delicacy. Different types of fish mean different types of botarga. This one is produced on the Italian island of Sardinia with the eggs of the gray mullet, highly appreciated for its delicate flavor. It's called botarga di mugine, and the Sardinians use a traditional process to produce it, 
pressing the salted egg sacs between wooden boards to dry for two to four weeks. It's no surprise that the botarga is an ingredient in many traditional Sardinian dishes, including this recipe. However, even if you don't like botarga, or can't find it, the process of preparing the garlic and oil sauce that we're showing here can be used to make alio olio spaghetti with other flavor variations, more common ones, such as chili, anchovies, or breadcrumbs. Which leads us to the garlic and olive oil, alio and olio in Italian. This is the freshest and most nutritious way to prepare and enjoy garlic and extra virgin olive oil, uncooked. Unlike preparations that infuse the oil by sauteing garlic, here we will crush fresh garlic cloves into a paste using a mortar. Here we are using our favorite made in Italy mortar and pestle, made in Carrara with white Italian marble, the same marble used by Michelangelo. If you want to know more about this quality marble mortar and pestle, check the video description. We start as always by adding a pinch of coarse salt to the garlic. This provides a bit more abrasion to help us grind the garlic into a paste. With wooden pestles like this one, it's fine to give gentle taps to the garlic to start the crushing process. If we were using a heavier marble pestle, we wouldn't want to risk chipping the mortar. But we actually prefer wooden pestles like this beechwood one for various reasons. And now we're using a traditional circular grinding motion to turn the garlic into a paste. It's a really quick process from one to three minutes depending on your skill. We're showing it here in real time. Once the garlic is almost completely crushed, we start pouring in extra virgin olive oil in a stream, stirring vigorously to blend and infuse. For those using botarga, add half now. And also a bit of parsley. And look at that beautiful sauce that we've created. And what a smell. Intense but not pungent. We have finished just in time, as our pasta is ready, cooked perfectly to al dente. In goes the spaghetti. A quick mix and fresh uncooked sauce. Look at the natural emulsion created between the ingredients. And this pasta heads to the plate. A drizzle of oil, a final sprinkle of parsley and the botarga. And this mouth-watering dish is served and singing with those fresh Mediterranean flavors. So next time you feel like spaghetti alio e olio, try making it in this way, raw in the Sardinian style. And if you can find it, with botarga. And don't forget to subscribe to the Piatto Recipes channel click the bell for notifications, and click the thumbs up to like our video. And of course, let us know in the comments how you make your spaghetti alio e olio. A buon appetito!